WikiLeaks released thousands of internal DNC emails over the weekend. And there are countless bombshells in there. In fact, I, I think the number was 19,000 or 20,000 emails that were released. Now, the overall takeaway is that Bernie Sanders uh, was fucked. It's clear that the DNC had an anti-Bernie Sanders bias, and they actively pushed for a Hillary Clinton victory. Now, this is vindication on the one hand, because this is what we were saying all along, but it's also just sad on the other hand, because all along the establishment media, other Democratic figures were saying, this is a conspiracy, this is paranoia, this is dead wrong, you have no evidence of it. Of course the DNC isn't biased against Bernie, they're neutral, they say they're neutral, so they must be neutral, they're so neutral. This is what they said. Well, now we know for sure that's not true. And the details of just how anti-Bernie they were, it's frankly grotesque. So here's one of the biggest stories. In emails from one DNC official to another top DNC official, they said this, quote, It, it might make uh, no difference, but for Kentucky and West Virginia, can we get someone to ask his belief? Does he believe in God? He had skated on saying he has a Jewish heritage. I think I read he is an atheist. This could make several points difference with my peeps. My Southern Baptist peeps would draw a big difference between a Jew and an atheist. So do you understand what they're saying there? They're atheist shaming Bernie Sanders. They're saying, let's get somebody from the media to ask that question. And then, hey, if he happens to stumble or walk into the trap or admit that maybe he is an atheist or whatever the case is, understand he's doing well in the polls in Kentucky and West Virginia, but if we could get him to admit, mm, yeah, no, I'm not, I'm not sure I really believe in God, well, then that support would tank and everybody would run to Hillary Clinton. Somebody in the media eventually did indeed ask that question. So, and we'll get to that later on. There actually is just flat-out collusion with the media. But think about that. So, they want a narrative pushed and the question asked. That narrative is pushed, that question is asked. Bernie dealt with it in a very good way, but I told you, we said at the time, that's like a gotcha question, man. That's a weird, like, who does that? Who asked that question? And I remember in the same town hall where they asked that question, what do they do with Hillary Clinton? Softball right down the center of the plate about, tell us about how much you love God. And she goes on, oh, you know, a church, church. I went to church. I love church. I love God. I, oh, I read fucking prayers every morning and shit. You know, it's fucking awesome, man. Jesus all the way. So, you know, when the election was happening and we were in that part of the country, when we're talking about places like Kentucky and West Virginia, all of a sudden Hillary's like, oh, God, 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 because she's doing so poorly in the polls there. It's like, okay, how do we get up? See, it's gross how their campaign thinks, because you know it's all kabuki theater. You know it's all fake. Like, I don't know. These people are super fucking religious, so just go out there and say that you're super fucking religious and see what happens. <laughs> so they're like, I don't... Hillary's like, I can't win on policy, so what am I going to do? I'll just go out there and say, me like Jesus too. You vote me because you like Jesus. Other men might be atheist. Bad, bad atheist. So it's so fake, and it's so calculated... And also, I mean, look, imagine if, so in this example, what they're saying is, well, look, if he's a Jew, I think people in Kentucky and West Virginia could suck it up and vote for him. But if he's an atheist, they might draw the line and say, no, mm -mm, I'm not going to do that. Imagine for a second the emails said nothing about atheism, but it said it, it spoke about Jews in a, in a derogatory way. So imagine they said something like, you know, hey, I know we're in West Virginia and Kentucky. You know, you might want to make a thing about the fact that he's a Jew. I mean, that might make a big difference when they know that our opponent is a Jew. How does that sound? Well, that sounds terribly anti-Semitic, right? Like, did you, talk about, did you tell him he's a Jew? Because that'll hurt him politically, and that'll help us. So let's talk about how he's a Jew. Yeah. Okay, you want to know why that sounds anti-Semitic? Because that is anti-Semitic, if they said that. But here they say it about atheists. And everybody's missing that angle of the story of, oh, 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 oh. They're trying to tap into anti-atheist bigotry. They're indeed being anti-atheist bigots. Like, well, I mean, obviously, if you look at the polls, 
atheists are super duper disliked in that region. So let's just try to paint him as that, out him as an atheist, and then say, you know, oh, pff, uh, no, we're not. Hey, we didn't launch an attack. We just had somebody in the media just ask, hey, do you believe in God? Are you an atheist? Are you a dirty atheist? It, it's, it's just gross politics. And it look, it tells you, I mean, for, for other atheists out there, I read this and I think, oh, so they're willing to play off anti-atheist sentiments to try to get elected, as opposed to, you know, trying to, as a Democrat and supposedly a liberal person, a progressive person, fight back against anti-atheist bigotry and atheist shaming. Instead of fighting against it, they're trying to tap into it and use it to their advantage. I mean, that's... <laughs> Why the fuck should we vote for you then? That's a serious question for Hillary Clinton and, and, the, D and the DNC who is pushing Hillary Clinton. It's not okay, man. And understand, so now that this leaked, Hillary Clinton comes out because this, these were internal DNC emails about how to help Hillary Clinton. Hillary comes out like, oh, tisk tisk, this is so bad and so wrong and how dare you question his faith and yada, 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 yada. Dude, you're caught. Give it up. Give it up. We know the DNC was pushing for you. We know what went down. We know there's collusion with the media. And it, this, this shows the ugliness of the way Hillary Clinton plays politics. Now, don't get me wrong. I guarantee you, if you look at RNC emails across the board, they're probably just as dirty as this, if not more dirty than this. So they're probably the worst of the worst. <laughs> but with Hillary Clinton, this idea that she, you know... She's above politics, and she's not establishment, and she's a real progressive or a real liberal. Does this sound... Does this sound liberal? Does this sound progressive? Does the DNC sound like they're really for liberal values when they try to shame atheists? And Bernie, by the way, came out over the weekend, and he's like, Okay, I, I'm not an atheist. And he goes on to say, but this is still wrong, yada, yada, yada. E like, even that annoyed me, because it's like... Dude, that... Because, again, imagine, take out atheists, put in Jew, if they were saying, Ah, leak that he's a Jew. That'll hurt him. Like, the response wouldn't be, I'm not a Jew. I'm not a Jew. The response would be, okay, even if I was, I guess you think that's a bad thing, huh? Why would you think that? I guess you're bigoted, huh? That's the response. But with atheists, nobody goes into, whoa, 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 defense mode. Nobody goes into, whoa, whoa, this is bigotry. Everybody's like, no, 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 I'm just not an atheist. I'm not that. I would obviously be bad. I'm not that. So, I don't like the anti-atheist bigotry, and I don't like the fact that this thing was rigged against Bernie from the beginning, and the DNC was clearly pushing for Hillary Clinton, as they called it a conspiracy, when people charged them of that from the beginning.